Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to do a quick 3.1 honeycomb overview for the Sony Internet TV. It's a brand new update that just came out, and the first thing you'll notice is that the entire menu system is redesigned as well as the home screen. So this is the new home screen. You have applications along the bottom right here, and you have all of your applications to the left of that, and even further left, you have notifications, and if you scroll over, you also get your recent applications. So here are the recent applications and the time is all the way to the left of that. On the home screen, you can completely customize this little dock that's down here simply by opening up the options menu, going to customize home items and switching out different applications. So let's say that we don't want this clock application. We can replace it with classy fireplace and you can move it as well. So let's move it all the way to the front. Well, let's say we don't want classy fireplace, we can completely remove it. So this does add customization to the home screen quite a bit actually in comparison to the old version that it was running. And you can also even add widgets. Now certain applications that you download from the Android market have widgets available for them, uh, such as this AdSense overview widget. And I'm just going to add two different widgets to the screen now. We're gonna add the analog clock and we're going to add Pandora. So once you have widgets on the screen, you can interact with them simply by moving them around and you can also delete them. So you just click in on it again to actually remove it from the home screen. So let's say you have it in the position that you want, you can hit done. And then from there, you can interact with the widgets while you're at your home screen. You can simply launch Pandora by clicking on the widget and it will open it up and you can start playing your music. All right, so I'm just going to quit out of Pandora now by bringing up the all new redesigned options menu. As you can see here, it's completely different and for every application you get different options. So let's quit out of it. It just depends on what application you're running and what options the application offers. So that's basically just the quick overview for the interface. Now let's go ahead and look at the Android market really quick. So here we are inside of the Android market and to my knowledge, there is nothing comparable on a TV to the Android market for applications. So this is really great and it's kind of a first of its kind as well. Uh, let's go ahead and look for an application here. We can browse by Sony Select, which I'm assuming are applications that Sony recommends. So let's just pick AOL HD and install it. You get some details here as well. You also have the option to write a review to see what's new to see other user reviews and you get the developer's website. So that's enough of that, we'll just hit install. And once you hit install, it says the app will be installed shortly. You get a prompt saying it's installing. And then once it's finished, you get this little menu giving you the option to either open it or hit done. Let's just open it really quick. And again, now we are inside of the AOL HD application. So the Android market is extremely great. It doesn't have too many apps right now, but I'm hoping that people will add applications in the future when more developers catch on and when more people catch on to the platform. Because even though it's been out for a little over a year, this is really the major update that makes it the Sony internet TV. I mean, before it was great, especially if you're like me and you like watching all of your TV, either via Netflix or online, such as flash video, then this would be a perfect TV for you. But now that it adds this update, you have better customizable options as well as the ability to download apps from the Android market. And you can actually better search through all of your TV stations through the new redesigned search. Now I don't have uh, any type of TV input connected to it whatsoever. So I can't really demonstrate that, but I'm just letting you guys know that you have the option to completely search through all of your different channels. And there are applications that let you do that as well and that help you find different programming that's on. So this is the update that really makes the Sony Internet TV great. And before if someone were to ask me whether or not I'd recommend the Sony Internet TV to a friend, I'd say, only if you really like Netflix or watching flash based videos. If not, then I would recommend saving your money. But thanks to this new update, I would recommend it to anybody who's looking to purchase a great TV because this is full 1080p. Let me just open up this trailers app for you guys. It's Flickster. I also downloaded it 
from the Android market and you do get the ability to stream full 1080p videos. Uh, they're just really quick snippets though, just like trailers if you want to see what a video is all about. Uh, it also gives you critic reviews and the Rotten Tomatoes score. As you can see for this movie, it has a Rotten Tomatoes score of 81 and 82% of Flickster users liked it. And if you scroll down here, it gives you the critic reviews. So you can also view movies that are coming and movies that are already on DVD. So let's just play this trailer really quick. Okay, and uh, this happens sometimes, so I wasn't actually going to mention this unless it came up, but it says that the application isn't responding. You can either hit wait or you can hit force close. Most of the time, if you hit wait, it will work. So let's just hit wait and hopefully it will play the trailer. All right, there we go. As you can see, again, it did play the trailer and like I said, it does do that sometimes. But here we go. This is full 1080p on the Sony internet TV. So I'm just going to quit out of it right there. Uh, again, this has just been my quick overview for 3.1 Honeycomb on the Sony Internet TV. I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up if you did. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Always be sure to hit that favorites button and subscribe for more great videos. Until next time, this is ICU signing out.